All right, guys, German apple wine making. Uh, well, I'm going to show you guys something very weird, which you probably doubting, never have seen before, never have heard before, or just call me pure BS. But anyway, these are two buckets of uh, apple Maische, which I just uh, shredded the living crap out of, I don't know how many hundred apples from my neighbor's yard. So that's what it is. And I was told from generations before that the Maische, as liquid as it is, so that's pure apple juice right here. You always have to stir that shit counter. Oh no, clockwise. Clockwise. Both of them are gonna be doing clockwise. So if you do a counterclockwise uh, stirring version, that will affect the wine. I'm not sure how. Uh, how true that is or if it is just a legend or a myth i do not know but for some former reason i am just doing the clockwise rotation so in a couple of seconds as you can see is nice it's not as slushy anymore as it used to be about a few hours ago it's nice and liquidish i will be adding my yeast and with the yeast the rotation <laughs> the movement of my stirring in those pots here it's gonna be counterclockwise and this is gonna be freaking some people out so here it is there's some special winemaking yeast for apple wine CEC 1118 uh, there are many different EC codes out there this is the one you're going to be using for apple wine only. And that's what we got cooking here. Of course, I'm cooking, but it would be right. Once again, that's that stuff here. And they want us to put in our apple wine. That's apple wine yeast. So it rises, and here you go, here it comes, here comes the weird crap. Remember, I steer before clockwise on the yeast, to get the yeast underneath and get it activated. <laughs> You're gonna stir that whole freaking stuff counterclockwise, and this is so weird. I don't know why it does it, but I've heard, uh, some of the dairies in Germany, they are doing the same with the yogurt. So they are counterclockwise yogurt and clockwise yogurt. So you just try to refrain from uh, getting away from the old traditions because it may end up in something else you just don't want. Just saying. All right. So this is pocket number one, I'm gonna be pocket number two in, in a second. Counterclockwise to yeast, clockwise to steer. You might around. Oh well. It's another weird one. Uh, there are so many people saying you cannot make apple wine out of uh, fermented apples, apple juice, yes you can. Uh, after we put our counterclockwise yeast in there, we have to put some yeast food in there, so it's the yeast nutrition. I'm gonna be using a normal uh, tablespoon, so two of these tablespoons for each pocket because there are about five gallons. That's what it's gonna get. Okay. Yeah, believe it or not, this whole mix is gonna get some more stuff, pectic and signs beneath it. 
So each pocket is gonna get about a half a teaspoon this time. This is how you make apple wine, not apple cider, apple wine. That's what it looks like. All right, we are not done yet. There's another thing I need to get into that whole crap of things is the wine tannin. I don't know how you spell it, I don't know what it does, but they say two and a half tablespoons into these big old buckets of five gallons again, which I'm gonna be doing right now.